Morgan, I asked uh, Mike this morning, uh, you seem to be playing with more confidence, and I wondered what Ron Hainsey's role might have been in that confidence. Uh, what's your perspective of how he's made you better this season? Oh, it's been good. I mean, I mean, Haynes is a great player. Uh, you know, a lot of experience, and um, you know, playing with him has been fun. You know, we really get along, and we've had an opportunity to kind of learn from one another. And um, so, I mean, playing with him, I think it just gives it gives everybody more confidence, just uh, not just myself. You know, um, you know, really, you know, really strong defensively, has a good stick, and you know, you feel like when you're out there, you kind of have a safety net a little bit because of how good he is. Um, so it's been fun. Mike says he's a great communicator. Yeah, yeah, Haynes, I think he's known for that. You know, he's a good team guy. Um, you know, all his past teammates love him. So, you know, playing with him, try, uh, just trying to get to know him and, you know, talk about the game a little bit and, uh, you know, learn from one another has been fun. Uh, sort of your rest already, but can you wrap your head around 1,500 games? Or yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's an amazing accomplishment. I think there's only 18 other people to do it, or maybe he's the 18th, one of the two. Mm -hmm. And, you know, very deserving. He's a, you know, extremely hardworking player. Um, and, and a great teammate and I think you know when you look back at his career the things he's been able to accomplish is is, is very impressive and to watch him move the way he can move now um, we were talking today if his if his kids were going to come tonight and he said he wasn't sure and the joke was that they'll just come to 2000 yeah, yeah. Five, 500 from now they'll come so he's got lots of time no generation gap you're 23 he's 38 years of age but everybody seems to be on the same age group here in this team regardless of when they were born um, yeah, I think Patty's got a few years on on uh, Mitchie and, and Austin and stuff like that. Yeah. But you know, he's been a great leader. Uh, you know, he's come in, he's worked hard every day, and you know, like I said, very deserving of, of of the accomplishment. But I mean, like I said, the way he's moving and the way he's playing, he's he's got lots of hockey left. Did you see yourself playing? <laughs> it's tough to say. I mean, you know, knock on wood, you want to stay healthy, you want to take care of your body, you want to play as long as you can. But you know, not everybody um, is is able to. I mean, Patty's one of those guys that, he, I mean, did all the above and um, is is here now and he's healthy and playing well. So, you know, credit to him for doing that. Or in uh, Gordani passing away today, are you a fan of, of his music and what did he mean to you? Obviously? Yeah, it's obviously very unfortunate. He's, um, he's a huge inspiration to, to all of Canada. Um, and, you know, we have a lot of fans in this room and, you know, all over Toronto, all over Canada, and you know, all over the world. So, you know, to lose him is is, is tough. And you know, uh, uh, when you read about his career and, and everything this morning, um, you know, he was he was he was something special. Do you have a favorite song for your childhood? Uh, we were playing him this morning. Um, I like New Orleans is sinking. Uh, Head by a century. I mean, all the, I mean, they're all classics. So.